Good morning, everyone. This is Katie Gwaltney, and I am a member of your Board of Trustees. I've been a member of this congregation now for about 15 years. And each of those years, I've been an intentional giver. And I'd like to describe to you why that is. When I first tried intentional giving, I was a little bit nervous about it. I mean, I had been coming to services regularly and I contributed at every service. And I thought, well, what more do they want, you know? And then I got to listen to some of the people speak about the need to give on a regular basis and to let the church know what your intention is in giving for the next year. Because we kind of need to know a little bit about what our income is going to be on a monthly basis so we can plan for the future. Also, it saves me from having to remember to put cash in my purse or a check. So I started intentional giving and I've never stopped. And the reason is, first of all, it's become a spiritual practice. Each year when this comes up, I sit down and I think again and I meditate and I study on what prosperity means to me and what it probably means to Unity of SA. And I also meditate on my own prosperity and how I'm feeling about it and what drives those feelings. And I take stock of my financial health and decide how much I'm going to contribute in the coming year. That's my intention. Hopefully my intention will come to be. And then every month, when my bank sends me a notice that says, you have contributed to Unity Church of San Antonio, the next day, I use that in my meditation to again, meditate on my prosperity and what that means to me and how I'm feeling about it. And do I need to study about it a little bit more? But mostly to feel very positive about the fact that I have everything I need and that I am able to contribute to my church community as well as others who don't feel that they have as much as they need. So the spiritual practice becomes very visible to me and very much part of my life every month. That's the first reason. The second reason though is the more important one. You see, I found that as I gave every month, it strengthened my sense of spiritual belonging to my community. It bolstered my emotional attachment to my community. And it informed my social attachment to my community. And as the months and years went by, that strengthening got stronger that bolstering got more and my emotional attachment to my community became greater. And never was that more apparent to me than when we were hit with this awful pandemic and could not go to church on Sundays and needed to try and feel that sense of connection spiritually, emotionally and socially to our community by viewing services online. And those years of always reinforcing that connection helped me stay feeling very connected to my church community. That's my reason for continuing. Also, I think that I get so much benefit from my community, I owe something in return. That also is part of my reasoning. So if you're considering being an intentional giver for the first time, give it a try. You never know what's going to come of it. And you can always change if your circumstances change. All the church will ever say to you is thank you for your contributions. No matter whether your contributions get bigger, smaller, or even disappear, we so appreciate that you contribute at all. And for those of you who have been members for a long time and intentional givers for a long time, 
You are the reason this church has remained resilient through ups, downs, ins and outs and everything that was thrown at us. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. For those of you who are just maybe considering this for the first time, we thank you for your intentions and for your giving. May you all have a great week. Hope to see you in church on Sunday. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Bye-bye.